Hello ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to talk about this Sofern flashlight. It's a green flashlight that I got from AliExpress. As you can see you have the turn on knob here, some nice uh, wedges for you to grab onto. Here you, you've got the USB-C charging port which has a sturdy rubber band on it and here you have a metal back plate but this is not magnetic so keep that in mind so it's a very sturdy military style flashlight you turn it on it blinds you it works as a normal flashlight should okay so first of all we'll begin with the unboxing so here on the side the official Sofern AliExpress store quality innovation value as you can see here this is the 5000 Kelvin version SP33S okay this is their website okay the packaging here is an older version I think of what they are doing now which is way nicer so let's put this aside we got a user's manual yeah to see how you can use the flashlight okay let's take that aside here you got two rubber rings two o-rings yeah two o-rings and a lanyard for your flashlight okay you can attach it at the uh, bottom of the flashlight and you also get a USB to USB-C cable you can use it to charge your flashlight and last but not least the flashlight here inside this plastic case let's take it out okay and this is the flashlight we will uh, look at the USB cable. The USB that comes with this flashlight is a fast charging USB. So, so you can use the USB cable from this flashlight to charge your phone. If you have a separate power adapter, you just plug that USB in and then the USB-C in, uh, in your phone. So you can charge your phone, it has fast charge on it. So that's, that's nice because that means it's a very good cable that supports fast charge. So it's not some Chinese extra cheap USB to USB-C cable. Okay, in the package you get the lanyard and two extra O-rings, rubber rings for the flashlight so that you can replace them in case yours get worn out and you need the replacement you've got the replacement in in uh, in the box it came with so yeah the fast charge worked on my phone I have a Samsung Galaxy Note 9 and it worked with a USB-C cable so you can also charge your phone with this flashlight if you have an USB-C to USB-C cable it does not come with the flashlight but in an emergency situation if you happen to have that cable on you you can use that cable to charge your phone on this flashlight so I can charge my phone on this flashlight the the color of the flashlight as, as you've seen is green you can choose from I think about three or four colors on their website and you can also choose the color temperature I think this one has a warmer color temperature of uh, 4500 and you can also choose a colder color if you so desire when you charge up the flashlight you will get a red flashing LED which means it's charging and when it's done it will light up green and that's about it when you turn on the flashlight so if I turn it on you will see the green LED lighting up this means that you have enough battery so the flashlight is telling you okay the battery is in good parameters and it doesn't need charging if the battery needs charging and you turn on the flashlight it will not light up green it will light up uh, red instead that means it should it should be charged if it lights up flashing red it means that the battery is almost depleted and you need to recharge it now let me walk you through the modes for this flashlight you can read more about them in the instruction manual if you press one time you get the normal flashlight 
if you press one time it goes to the last saved setting okay if you press again it turns off if you keep it pressed it goes into moonlight mode yeah if you press it again it shuts off this is very very similar to the Sofern SC32 flashlight if I press two times it will go into turbo mode so two times this is turbo mode okay I press one time and now it shuts off from being off two times in turbo mode if I press three times it will go into strobe mode one two three okay party people in the house to be okay so this is this is strobe mode maybe tactical setting whatever one time to shut it off if we now press it one time to turn it off we can hold it and it will cycle through the modes of the flashlight so we have low medium high low medium high you just release to stop in that certain mode if you press again it will shut off if you press the power button once it will start in the previous uh, state that it has been so it was on low when I shut it off now it's on low it started on low you can also lock this flashlight so in the turned off position I will press four times one two three four it blinked uh, two times and now if I press to turn it on let's say you have it in your pocket and as you can see the button being on the side you can ac uh, have it accidentally turn on in your pocket so if it turns on it will just blink two times and uh, that's uh, that's about it it won't do anything if you hold it pressed you will get this moonlight mode if you release the button it will uh, shut shut down so if I keep it pressed you have this moonlight reading lamp or moonlight reading mode and if I release it, it's gone. Also, to unlock, you have to press four times. One, two, three, four. And it's now unlocked and you can go through the mode as you as you wish. Now, one option that I like keeping, keeping this flashlight in oh, is the ramping of color. So if, if the flashlight is turned on, you press four times. One, two, three, four. And now if I hold the button, the light increases, I think, until turbo mode. And if you hold it down, it now decreases. Hold, increase, release. And now it stays at that position. Hold again, it increases even more. If you hold again, it should decrease. Increase, decrease. Increase, decrease. Uh, pretty much love this because you have more control over the flashlight now if I turn it off so if I turn it off and back on it remembers that position so it starts at that uh, luminosity now if I keep it pressed and then power it off power it back on it starts at the last remembered setting so this is nice I I kind of like this and you press two times for turbo mode you can also access turbo mode from uh, let's bring this down from this so you just turn it off yeah it's turned off you turn it on it's a low setting almost medium to low if you press here two times it will go to turbo mode press one time to go back and you can press once again to turn off the flashlight so that's about it uh, also to remember this is quite a chunky flashlight this this flashlight is somehow sturdy very robust so to say and have a listen at this noise okay let's let me use the other hand yeah so as you can see hey you hear some noises that's from the battery so the, 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 the battery doesn't <laughs> stay very neatly inside maybe you can put something in there to keep it tight but the flashlight isn't keeping it completely airtight this is the battery it's using it is a lithium-ion BL26650 so it's a 26650 type battery okay as you can see here and it is 6800 milliamperes so this should give you quite 
uh, long charge for the battery and you can also charge your phone but I think this battery that I've got here is some some crappy one so I wouldn't rely on this I didn't did not buy the original Sofirm battery which I encourage you to buy it with if you don't have the battery I think the, the their batteries are uh, okay so yeah oh one um, one more thing if we look here if we look here this is where you can uh, attach your uh, Linyard. So here at the tail, you have some uh, some kind of spot where you can put your lanyard and attach it if you want to attach it, of course. In the end, I would like to share some final thoughts with you on this uh, Sofern flashlight. Let's compare it to the Sofern SC32. So this this one is SP33S and the, the smaller black one is SC32. So from the size difference, you, you can see it is fairly larger, yeah. Obviously, it's a little bit heavier as well. And to be honest, if you need if you need charging option to be able to charge your phone in a critical situation, I don't know, to have like a power bank with you, this this is the better option because it has a larger battery. It has obviously more runtime than this one. So this this uh, this Sofern bigger Sofern SP33S is the better option. But in my opinion, if we go here to the wall and like I will show you in a second and like compare them to each to each other I think this the smaller one is brighter this has a little bit of uh, a wider spread of light while this is more range has more range but the downside is that this one heats up quicker than than the Sofern SP33S. So yeah, let's have a look at the wall to see them compared side by side in turbo mode. Let's see if we can pull this off. Okay, let, let me let me clean my room. We'll use these in turbo mode first. So first off we have the SP33S. The ISO is now on 100 on my video camera and we'll see the comparison so we are now in daylight i put it on low so that you can just see the difference it makes in light so let's left side as before sp 33s and right side sc 32 In my opinion, I think they look quite the same, but the 32 is now heating up very, 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 very quickly. As you can see the 32 is now becoming a little bit more diluted because it cannot sustain turbo mode for long so I'm gonna shut it down so as you can see this has more sustained turbo mode it can sustain it for longer but in a tactical situation the SC32 I think for a couple of 10 seconds it, it's more useful to be honest so as we saw in <laughs> in this in this uh, as we saw in this short demonstration this one is a little bit brighter in turbo mode because it can sustain it for a longer time than the sc32 so i think as we saw there i can take back my words that this one is brighter this one is definitely brighter in low iso mode and also because it's just brighter in turbo mode it has i i don't know how 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 much were the specs 4000 lumens doesn't even say on the box so I think I think this was 4000 but anyhow it can sustain turbo mode for longer than the smaller counterpart but in my opinion this is the one to get if you're really looking into a starter flashlight I think price wise I think they are they're in the same ballpark uh, to be honest this has a more common common battery type than the other one so if you buy a battery for this you might get another flashlight that uses the same battery this one has a larger larger 
battery so this might be useful for I don't know camping and not everyday carry because it's like bulky and weighs a little bit okay so yeah this this was my my take on the Sofren SP33S and I hope uh, you got some useful information from it ciao